What you see happening there, the current contract we have, it will include this whole front where it says Olympic Stadium. That will all be redone like the bottom is here. Yeah, so this, so the city started renovating Olympic Stadium back in 2018. The first appropriation that we received was from the state legislature. Um, we received about $505,000 from the legislature. And with that funding, we, we built this brand new front entry. The old entry was falling apart and coming down. So we put in an all new post, new roof, and um, we put in, a, most importantly, a brand new fire suppression system. Uh, this all wood stadium, I mean, the worst thing in the world that could happen would be a fire. And the uh, fire suppression system was failing. It was put in the 80s. And so we put in a new fire suppression system. We have a $900,000 community development block grant through Commerce right now, which we are so thankful for. And that is putting in a, a brand new ADA restroom just inside the facility here through those doors. And then we're redoing all of the siding on, on this wall that you can see here. Um, be brand new cedar siding that will be stained. And then on the very far wall, we had to make some significant structural repairs as well. They're all being done with the Commerce Grant. But I think why this facility ranked high enough to receive a community development block grant is, is because it is an essential community facility. I mean, it's the home to high school sports, home to college sports, community festivals and events. I mean, it really is our uh, community center. It's just an outdoor community center. Um, but it's just per perfect for so many events and it holds 8,000 people. I mean, it's just a one of a kind. It's the last left in the United States, Allwood Stadium, just like this.